folks this is john with halfway there adventures uh thanks for tuning in today we're going to do a kind of review video on our boat so it's 2019 mako pro skiff 17. it's a really awesome little boat i got some videos of us uh, riding around i got a top speed run on there cruising speed showing you kind of the rpms and the speeds we can run it's about 3500 at 25 miles an hour it's really comfortable cruising but if you really got to get out miss a storm or get to your fishing spot for the next guy you can run up to about 35 miles an hour uh, today we're just hanging out here in beautiful orange beach alabama we're gonna show you a couple more videos here in a second of some of the, the storage and the accessories we put on it and then maybe a little bit about some of the things we're going to customize uh, i got camera girl hey. brooklyn sorry about that y'all camera girl brooklyn is still uh an intern she hasn't figured out all this camera stuff yet so she ended the first video a little earlier i didn't but, mean to like we said we're just uh hanging out we'll have more content about the boat here in just a second of the motor.
while we're out here just fishing these jetties over here picked up a first mangrove snapper not gonna be a keeper but hey get something in the in the boat feels good All right, folks, we're back at the house now. We got got the boat all cleaned up after being in the salt water. You know, it needs a good bath after that. I'm going to give you a tour of uh, a feature of this boat on the on the bow. We'll start up here. We got a uh, this trolling motor here is a 70 pound, 24 volt uh, Minn Kota trolling motor, and it, it moves this boat around pretty good. Um, I was thinking about going with a 55 pound, 12 volt, but I'm glad I upgraded to the, the 70 pound. But I feel like if there was a lot of current, it might be, uh, or wind, maybe hard for that 55 pound to keep up. <laughs> the new ones come with a plate here, and it's pre-wired for the trolling motor. But this is 2019, I guess they didn't offer that that year. So I had to cut in my own plate here and run my own wiring. Um, the front, we got this front storage box here. It's perfect for uh, cast net and anchor. That's what I like to use it for. Um, in the future, I think I'm going to cut myself a rod holder into this top so that I can uh, leave all my anchor up down there and just use like a stainless steel carabiner to hook to the anchor chain. Because the one bad thing about it is if you do pull the anchor out, you can't close the door and leave the line in there because there's no, no way to um, manage the rope. So that's going to be a new upgrade I'm going to do eventually. Just haven't got to it yet. Stepping back, we got this other huge... Which is great because you got room for all kinds of stuff in there. As you can see, these are my uh, trolling motor batteries. I got have to run two of them for 24 volt. And I put them inside there so you don't have to risk them sh shorting out on anything. Something gets set on top of them, so then there's nice sealed tote. But uh, like I said we got all kinds of room for dock lines, bumpers, our boat bag. I got my tackle bag bump board all that good stuff in there and there's still room for a little bit more so that's a really great option and then once everything's closed i'll stand back a little bit so you see the whole thing you got a, a huge casting deck up there i mean two people could probably fit, fish up there easily as long as you're being careful um but i mean that's a big selling point of the boat like i'll show you in the video i was throwing the cast net on here it's a great space to do that great space to uh just sight fish and, and cast off the bow Moving on back a little bit, we got the console here. Really nice padded uh, seat over the front live well. We got four rod holders on the one side, one on the other. And there's a little cubby here uh, for storing stuff. I ended up putting um, my wash down kit and I put the hose in there. I figured it was a great spot to hold that. Underneath the seat, you got the front live well. Uh, on the sides of the console here, you can see I installed my uh, speakers. I got two six and a half inch marine speakers and one eight inch sub I've installed. And uh, the blue LED lights for when we go night fishing. I got got them all the way around the console. I even got one in that front bow section I showed you. I got one here on the back. 
and I even put one underneath on the inside so if it's dark out and I need to get something under the console I can see and there's two more of those that are uh, under the back section here to kind of light up the back uh, coming around to the back of the console I give you one cup holder here and it doesn't come factory with the fish finder but the previous owners installed this Garmin uh, it's a striker for GPS fish finder it's pretty nice it's not the the top of the line so there's not any maps uh, built in but you can still mark points and and use it like a GPS that'd be the only upgrade is to find one that actually had the detail maps you got a really nice uh, tachometer it's got the built-in trim gauge which I really like it's nice to know what your motors doing there what angle you're at uh, you got switches for this is to kill all the power uh, main battery shut off and then you got obviously ignition power to all your accessories and then switches for bilge pump lights we got forward and rear aerators you got your built-in horn nice 12 volt charging port and i've since added these switches down here because this controls my stereo it runs off of my 24 volt trolling tro motor battery i got this one for the lights and this one is to uh turn on the, the pump for the wash down uh, underneath there this is where they this uh model comes the battery under the console for the start and uh, all the accessories and stuff and moving on back we got this uh nice cooler seat got a nice pad on it uh from the factory it faces the other way so it'll open to the front but since i was putting these rod holders in there i, I switched it around because if you had rod holders here you wouldn't be able to uh open up the hatch because the rods would get in the way now i want to add some extra rod holders so i put one on either side that's why i like to use if i'm trying to troll to keep the lines behind me instead of trying to troll with the lines in the, the front rod holders on the console it was kind of inconvenient but this cooler keeps ice real good even taking it camping and uh lasted ice all weekend and i added this other three rod holder here uh, I always throw my little bait net in there. It's got a good place for my fish grips and pliers. And if I got an extra rod or two, I can slam them in here as well. Uh, I think you can, from the factory, these come with a six gallon gas tank, but the previous owners already upgraded to a 12, which is, which is really cool. I've never needed more than 12 gallons and I've, you know, done some pretty decently long trips, but the only downside I see, and I was using it today is it did all the weight on the one side kind of felt like the boat was listing that way a little bit it may be better to have two six gallon tanks so you can counterbalance the weight a little better but uh i'm probably not going to change it out it's not that big of an issue to me uh we got that the rear live well which is the one i usually use i'll fill up that front one if i need to but this one's a lot bigger and uh it fills up a little faster because it's closer to the aerator and close that and leaves you with this nice Nice casting deck back here, which is nice to fish off, especially if you're anchored up. I'm usually fishing off the front because I got the trolling motor I have to, to keep up, but if I'm uh, if I am anchored out somewhere, it's not bad to come out to this back deck. When I got the boat, there was nothing over here on this side, but I found this this tote here is perfect perfect size to slide under there where i keep all my extra life jackets i got flares i got our boat ladder there is a handle and a step out back on this thing but it makes it hard to uh hard to get all the way up there to that step so we got this four step ladder that we can clip on i, I just clip it around the uh, handle loop it one time and then loop it the other way and then clip it into itself and it, it works pretty good to get out of the boat if we're uh, in deep water. But that's uh, pretty much the inside of the boat. I'll uh, step out and start a new video. All right, we're outside of the boat now. Uh, just give you a quick little tour. We got, obviously, I got the uh, 75 horse Mercury 4 stroke. It's a great little motor. Really uh, haven't had any issues with it. I'm going to be doing a little more information on that in an upcoming video. It's due for the uh, 
the 100 hour service I'm going to be doing that I'll probably make make a video for y'all in case you ever have to do a, do a service on yours um, one thing I'd like to mention if you're looking at getting one of these or anything is uh, it'd be really nice to have some trailer guide-ons because where I launched today I, I put in the video it's really calm back there and it's kind of protected from the wind but I have tried to launch this on a, a place where there's current and where there's wind and waves and it's kind of hard to get this thing straight on that trailer and it stay there until you can get it pulled out so that's a, another thing I'm gonna be adding soon just trying to save up my money and you know, do a little bit at a time but uh, that will be coming shortly Um, we got the two cleats on these each side. We got one right up here just at the front of the bow platform And then you got the one right at the front of the rear platform And uh, I didn't come with one, but I added This one here on the bow Just because I like tie my anchor up to it if I'm anchored out or Just gives me an extra point since there's the next one's way back there. So it's Just a, a little thought if anybody wants to add one of those uh, the one thing this thing comes with a really hard roller right here and uh it ended up scuffing up the boat right here a lot and it actually put a hairline like a uh, stress crack and not for me slamming into it that was just from winching it up on there so I, on the forums i saw a lot of people changing over to putting these bunks on here and i've i've done it and launched it two or three times now and it's been really nice addition so if if you got one of these or getting one you might want to think about uh making yourself a set of bunks up here instead of that really hard roller save yourself a headache from having to make a claim on your uh, your warranty but nothing nothing really uh else too exciting on the outside i will take a video a little picture of this uh, underneath though so you can see kind of what the uh hole looks like you can kind of see a little bit where the water line is and kind of what sits in the water and what doesn't but that design makes it pretty smooth for a skiff boat i mean it's not it's not going to be, you know, as comfortable as riding in a big 25 footer that, you know, has a really deep draft, but it really does pretty good for what it is. It's going to be a wrap on my Makeup Pro Skiff review. I uh, hope you got all the information you needed. I mean, I know when I was buying this boat, I watched a bunch of other videos, and it's good just to see how everybody sets theirs up, get ideas how they like to do things, or maybe give a new idea that, you know, you've never, never thought to do. And, uh, I would really recommend this boat to anybody that wants to get one at the price point. I don't know if you're going to be able to get a nice boat with this many features on it. So I do highly recommend it. And I hope if you decide to get one or you got one yourself, that you get to have a good time on it. Uh, if you could, like and subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more content on uh, motor maintenance. I want to take this thing out, do some tubing. Maybe if I can talk somebody to come in and get on the wakeboard, somebody to pull me on the wakeboard. Who knows? We'll see. A lot more fishing and uh, a lot more exciting adventures. So that's all we got for now. Halfway there, adventures.